Hello, I'm Ben Maracle. Welcome to More Hollywood is Taken Seriously, the latest and final installment in David Gordon Green's Halloween trilogy is finally here. Today, I'll be reviewing the movie Halloween Ends, which is directed by David Gordon Green and isn't just the final film in his Halloween trilogy, it is also the 13th film in the Halloween franchise. This review does have minor spoilers, Halloween Ends takes place four years after the 2021 film Halloween Kills, and Laurie Strode, portrayed by Jamie Lee Curtis, is trying to live a much calmer life and has somewhat put the past behind her. In these better years, she has not seen Michael Myers. However, that all changes when a new character, Corey Cunningham, is brought into the picture. Following the introduction of the character, disturbing events happen, which brings Michael back into Lori's life. Once Michael returns, his mayhem and terror begins, and the final showdown between Lori and Michael Myers commences. This is not your typical slasher film. Unlike some past Halloween movies, this movie is driven by the story not the violence. This is something that David Gordon Green is terrific at doing in all of his past Halloween movies, and thankfully, he carries that over to this film. This movie explores how a young adult becomes pure evil, something that Michael Myers was deemed years ago when he was a child. What is interesting about this chapter in the trilogy is that the writers David Gordon Green and Danny McBride, just to name a few, made references that were inspired by the master of horror himself, Stephen King. If you are a die-hard fan of these movies and are expecting to jump a mile for over an hour, then you will be disappointed. If this is the new definition of a slasher film, then they better be all written with perfection. I was very pleased with this movie, and the climax was very entertaining, which will make the audience keep guessing if any of these two characters were going to be killed off. David Gordon Green wrapped up this trilogy extremely well. When it comes down to it, though, John Carpenter's original 1978 film will always be the best. I give Halloween Ends an A+. Thanks for watching, and I hope you keep watching my future reviews. You can like Where Hollywood is Taken Seriously on Facebook. You can also email me at wherehollywoodistakenseriously at gmail.com with your thoughts and opinions on Halloween Ends. And remember, this is where Hollywood is taken seriously.